Hey guys, Short Stack Survival here, and today we're going to talk about Hazard 4's Boot Bunker. You may be wondering, what's a boot bunker? It's just a trapezoidal bag to put your boots in. Searching the depths of Amazon, I came across this and I thought that's a pretty cool idea, a very specialized piece of gear. If you have a bag like this that's just in the trunk or in the back seat, if you get into trouble, you slide off the roadway and you have to dig yourself out, one of the worst things <laughs> that you might find is having to do that with improper footwear. Having a dedicated bag is kind of neat. So it comes with this little over the shoulder holder here. You know, you've got your little grab handle. The stitching looks pretty sturdy. The handle's a little bit floppy, but that's okay. On the top, you have this kind of rubberized mesh. On this side, you ha also have the rubberized mesh so your boots can breathe. On the front, you've got a, a Velcro hook and loop panel, which is kind of nice. So on the front here, it does say Hazard 4. You also have another hook and loop panel here on the front, so you can put your name or whatever. There's a little pocket right up front, kind of a quick access pocket. I didn't take this off, but I will now. This just says that it has Cordura fabric and it just talks about Hazard 4. I believe they're based out of California, but this is manufactured in China. I was able to get it for just over $40. I think that's a pretty good price for what it is. Anyway, let's continue. So here, let's talk about this compartment out here. It's just a larger pocket. It zips down all the way to the bottom. And then the main compartment has this little divider here. There is also at the very bottom, there's this rubberized mesh, but it does Velcro. That way, if you have mud and dirt, the boots will sit on this directly, and then as it dries, it'll fall through down to the bottom, and then you can shake it out and get all the dirt out. So that's kind of a neat feature. The divider is permanently sewn in, but it's really cool. It's kind of this coyote tan. Same with the piping around the outside. And then it has, I don't know if you guys can see, but it says like Hazard 4 across it. So it's kind of a simple bag, but it is dedicated to boots. So, you know, it doesn't really need to be overly complicated. I'm gonna see what I can fit in here. First and foremost, let's get the boots in there. Okay, so there's the one boot. I've got a pair of darn tough wool hunter socks. I'm gonna stick a pair down in there. Uh, these are pretty big winter boots, so I think there's still a lot of room to uh, accommodate larger feet. And you know what they say about big feet. I have these Yak Tracks, they go over the boot, and I have smaller ones here. They're also by the brand Yak Track. These just kind of go on the toe and give you traction. These ones are for more extreme conditions. These are just, if it's a little icy and you need a little extra traction, I think I'm going to put these in my driver's side door. That way if I just have regular shoes on, I could slip those on the toe real quick and move around. Whereas if I'm digging into the Hazard 4 boot bag, uh, weather's probably gotten extreme and so these will be more dedicated to the bag. Those will go right up front. I've got two sets of hand warmers, two sets of toe warmers, so I'll also put those up front. Actually, I might, I might slip those in the side here. Let's do that. <laughs> I think Ginger keeps hitting the tripod. <laughs> Thanks, Ginger. Okay, so we have the hand warmers and toe warmers on the side. Fits in there beautifully. And I've got a couple pairs of gloves. I've got a thin pair. And then I've also got a thicker, more insulated pair. Depending on the weather and how dexterous I need my hands to be, I can choose between the two. I know this is a boot bag, but the way I'm going to be using it is, you know, maybe I'm just jumping in the car, going to the store. If I break down, I want to be able to just grab this, you know, get my boots on, get my traction on, get my gloves on. And I also got this Magpul hat that I could throw in there, but I'm just going to throw those in. And then I've got my hat. So actually I could probably still fit that up front. You know, even if you had this dedicated in the vehicle at all times, you get a spring rain that soaks you through and the wind starts picking up. The elements can certainly uh, get to you. Hypothermia and exposure related illnesses can set in super quick. I remember when I was hiking a local mountain and I thought I had 
had <laughs> appropriate gear on for the weather. Uh, but it started to rain and it was really windy and I just felt frozen through because I had a rain jacket and it was all dripping down to my jeans and once those got soaked through and the wind was going through it was like I wasn't wearing any pants <laughs> and it was so cold and even though you know I was just on a local mountaintop hiking I, I felt like oh my gosh am I gonna make it home and so you know survival isn't all about buying really expensive gear I think it's just having the right gear for the right situations you hear that those sirens are for you they're coming for you because you don't know how to dress appropriately for the weather and you've got yourself a bad case of hypothermia. Well, do you want to know how to prevent that in the future? Take a look at my little friend. It's Hazard Force Boot Bunker. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos.